Yeah, I mean, it's. I, I think it's kind of something that we started early on in the summer. I mean, we knew that we had so much talent in the room, like I've kind of elaborated on many times. And we just kind of wanted to take them an unselfish approach, really. I mean, we tried to just get better at as, as get better at as much stuff as we could. And 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 one and one of those main things are some of the more unselfish things. And and the fact that we've gotten so good at those is just kind of that's what that's what's become apparent throughout the uh, the entire room, really. And then you, they, uh, Urban said that they made a. They've been saying a lot of great things about you the last few weeks, but mm -hmm. was it nice to know that they made a deliberate? Um, choice to try to get you the ball in the end zone as a reward. I mean, Absolutely. I, you, you know. I mean, yeah, it was, it, it was, it was, it, it felt really good. And, and uh, at first it was uh, a little frustrating not getting those first couple, but uh, I finally got in and that was kind of a relief and finally uh, getting in that game and, and um, I don't know, just happy I got in the end zone again. How <laughs> often since then have you heard about that catch? Uh, quite a few times. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I got a text from my uh, high school coach and, a whole bunch of friends from back home, and obviously my mom. Uh, my mom's birthday was actually the day before, so she said that was a good birthday present. <laughs> so uh, I don't know, just assortment of people, I guess. Um, Devin had the catch a couple years ago. Mm -hmm. It was pretty nuts. You had that catch. Do you guys work on that in practice? I mean, do you work on making tough catches? Work on like doing, you know, if you're in a situation where you have to go up with one hand or make. I mean, yeah, we catch? we in an individual sometimes we'll go we'll go about getting to just adjusting the balls and 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 throwing bad balls having to adjust to them and and whatever but i mean it's nothing really where it's like all right we'll try to go get this one one handed and i'll throw it something ridiculous i mean it's just kind of we work on just adjusting the balls and then when we get in the game it's just you try to adjust the best you can and go make a play when you when your numbers call jalen described the personalities in the receiver room he described uh Michael Thomas as the class clown and you as the class president. <laughs> are, are you guys, is there a certain amount, though, of diva ness, I guess, that all receivers kind of have to inherently have? Yeah, I mean, it's, 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 I guess it's part of the position. I mean, everybody wants to uh, do well, everybody wants to score, and everybody wants to name in the big light. But I think it's, it, it, it's kind of a testament to, the the relationships that we've had with that we have with one another in the room i mean we're all so close we're all i mean we we all treat ourselves like family I and mean, we say it all the time and and when one person's doing well everybody's doing well you know and we've really kind of um expanded on that notion the fact that like we we wish the best upon everybody so i mean if it's not me it's jalen if it's not jalen it's dantre if it's not dantre it's mike if it's not mike it's Devin. i mean we we all wish the best for everybody so i mean whenever somebody does well it's we're all happy for them i guess i mean coach smith was was talking about that uh he felt like the end of last year maybe some of the receivers just sort of wore down physically by the end of the mm -hmm. year having the six guys that you have now how do you think that will impact that part of it when you guys get to, you know, late Well, November. I mean, it's definitely going to have a huge impact. I mean, the, I, I can't remember numbers off the top of my head, but I remember that Cal game, we had over 100 plays, and Devin Philly and I were pretty much in the game the the whole game. I mean, we were 80, 90 plays. And I mean, as a receiver, especially in an Ohio offense, as much as we run in the game and then throughout the week, I mean, it takes a toll. Uh, I mean, you can be the most healthy person in the world, but if you're doing that week in, week out, it's, it's going to take a toll on your body. And us having uh, more numbers this year obviously is going to work to our benefit. Um, I mean, obviously we're not we're not getting this run down into the ground as much as we are, uh, or as much as we did in practice and in the game as well. And and knowing that we have so much talent, and knowing that we have so much trust between one another, it's it's there's really no fall off between who's in the game. And that's that's one thing that we tried to push this this year is to make sure that whoever's going in the game. Held first holds themselves accountable and then holds a unit accountable because like we, we developed that that family atmosphere in our room and 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 we don't want to let our brother down. Well, and uh, Jalen was talking about uh, yeah there are divas in the receiver room but I can't name the divas because those divas are my brothers. Mm -hmm. Do you like the compliment of uh, personalities? He was kind of saying what each person was and all that. Yeah, I mean I guess I don't, I don't know. We I mean, we we all uh, we're all fools to our own extent, but uh, we like to have fun, I guess. How many of the hybrid backs are Davis? Huh? How many of the how many of the hybrid backs are Davis? Oh, I mean, <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> hey, Evan, have you watched? Uh, uh, what is it like to see a play you make? You know, make the highlight reel. I mean, be in the top ten list and stuff. I mean, uh, 
how cool was that? I guess on Saturday, well, Saturday night, Sunday. It's really cool. That. I mean, I, I, I guess when it happened, it's just kind of not. It's just it's not really a thought. It's just you trying. To, I was trying to go get the ball, and make a play, and yeah. and 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 get in the end zone. But like going back, reflecting on it, I mean, I've always kind of watching the watching film in here is a lot different than watching it on TV. So get, getting to see like the TV copy of things, or getting to see highlights, or, or or notifications on my Twitter or on my phone or whatever. It's 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 just kind of a different look at what you did you know yeah. what i mean it's it's and what do you think what do you think about that i mean what, what grade would you give yourself on that play i guess i'd give myself an a yeah <laughs> and how many times have you how many times have you done something like that maybe in your mind or have you practiced that you know i mean i get you 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 always you always picture doing uh tremendous plays in your yeah. mind and and that, that that's one thing i worked on this year is just really trying to imagine before the game even starts just me making plays on on whatever play or whatever concepts called whatever play it is and then when the when the play is called it's just a matter of going out there and doing it you know you've already done it in your mind you've already you've already repped it in your mind a hundred times so when the ball's up in the air it's just like all right well I got to go get it to 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 kind of fulfill what I've already thought of and what I've already imagined was that one of those because it looked like you were just so in control <laughs> one hand grab how's that called you know pluck and tuck with one hand I mean <laughs> I guess I, yeah I guess so yeah. I mean <laughs> how many you times have you seen it since um it quite a few I mean it's um uh I mean, it was it was it was a good play of, of by myself, but at the same time, I'm trying to uh, to refocus and and make sure that um, that uh, myself and us as a receiver room and, and uh, us as a team uh, are ready to go this week and okay. and, and, and succeed. You got to jump to get in sometimes. <laughs> um, did you go to Penn State as a little guy when your dad? Uh, no. Maybe, area. but I'm not really. I, I, I don't know. I, got, I can't really remember that far back. Possibly. This is this is the first of three straight night games for you guys, mm -hmm. two of which are on the road. Do you almost look at this as pretty big weeks for you guys as you look at the big picture, the national scope of things? Are these like moving weeks for you? Yeah, I mean, uh, we we've treated every game as 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 win or go home really in, 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 in that aspect of things. I mean we gotta go we gotta go out and play our best football every time we go out on the field and especially with taking taking a loss early on in the season, every time we got on the field we, we got something to prove, you know, we got a chip on our shoulder and we gotta prove to everybody that, hey, we're a good football team too, you know. So this week especially, I mean we gotta go out there and show that, hey, we're we're a dominant team as well and then we're gonna do that the following week after that and the week after that and the week after that until the season's over with. So I mean it just it's it's just it's just us proving and showing everybody that hey we're 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 a really damn good team too so watch out. These these are the Two weeks where there's there's more people watching. Mm -hmm. Prime time games on ABC. Mm -hmm. you, you get you can sway more opinions I guess. Right. I mean it's it's prime time games are always different. You know night games it's great atmosphere and everybody loves playing in them, but um, it's still a game. You know you it, it's it's it's. Uh, it's a game. It's a. Everybody's got to strap up their helmets, put on the shoulder pads, and, and we got to go out there and take care of business. What is JT? Oh, go ahead. I was just going to say, after the last time you guys played these guys, you ran all over them. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you see out of their defense this year as opposed to last year? Well, I know last year they were. We 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 tried to expose as much as we could from them. This year, I I, I can't tell you. I've watched too many of their games um, that they've already played. I mean, I'm going to. Go in the film room after this and and and, and watch some of the uh, related offenses that they've gone against. But um, uh, I, I know they have some close games, and I know they're well coached. You know, they they got a great environment. And they got a, it's 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 great um, uh, program, and and I know that they'll be well coached, and they're going to be hyped up and ready to beat us. So we know that we got to be on our best game, and we know that we got to take care of business. Evan. No. Uh, you're a grizzled veteran, uh, and you've got a quarterback now as a redshirt freshman mm -hmm. making his seventh start. How far has he come along in getting y'all's respect, your attention, et cetera? And how does he operate I mean, in that regard? I mean, well, in terms of getting respect, it's with with JT's type of personality. I've always been one to commend him on it because he it's almost like he demands respect. You know, he's he's so mature for his age, and and and, and that really shows with his play. You know, he he struggled he struggled early on, but now now that we're in a rhythm, now that we're clicking, it's just JT's out there as a leader of our offense, and 
he's he's it's, it's kind of a reflection on his of his personality yeah yeah by the way uh it took him a while to find even your force field on saturday <laughs> i mean they were trying to get the yeah. ball to you did you guys talk about that at all yeah i mean, I mean it was just it was just a different uh, yeah. different number of things that uh happened and and did or didn't happen and then yeah. finally we, we we connected so yeah, it was good, good.